Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends' friends. That's one way of helping me promote my channel to keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Also, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, don't forget to subscribe. Analyze the frame shown by slope deflection equations. Construct the shear force and bending moment diagrams and sketch the elastic curve. E is constant. So we have here uh, frame. In fact, E I is constant for this case. And this undergoes sideway because of the load that make the frame rotate clockwise so since a is a pin and d is pin there will be no moment at a and d so we just establish moment equation ba and by slope deflection equation it is 3 ei over l quantity theta near theta b minus uh, delta over l then plus fixed in moment near minus one half fixed in moment far. So in this case, three times EI, which is one over six over L, quantity theta B minus delta over six. There is no load, so there is no fixed in moment. So this is 0.5 of theta B. That's the uh, expected sideway displacement. So moment BA is 0.5 theta B minus 1 over 12 of delta. Call that equation 1. While next we have MBC. So MBC is 2 EI, 2 times 1 over 4, quantity 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 times 0. For this remains horizontal. And there is no load, so simplifying. MBC is theta B plus 0.5 theta C. So take note that we use 2 EI over L because we expect moments at B and C. Likewise, MCB is equal to, so we just interchange coefficient. So it is equal to 0.5 of theta B plus theta C. That's equation 3. Then MCD, the far end D is spin. No moment, so we go back to 3 EI over L. Uh, by the way, delta is treated positive in the equation because the rotation of the chord for these two columns is clockwise. So MCD is 3 times 1 over L, which is 6 theta C minus delta over 6. So simplifying MCD is 0.5 theta C minus 112 of delta. Call that equation 4. We then apply equilibrium uh, equation for moment at B. MBA plus MBC equals 0. So MBA 0.5 theta B minus delta over 12 plus theta B plus 0.5 theta C equals 0. Combining like terms and simplifying, establishing the first equation. So we have 1.5 theta B plus 0.5 theta C minus delta over 12 equals 0. Call that equation A. Then at C, MCB plus MCD equals 0. 0.5 theta B plus theta C plus 0.5 theta C minus delta over 12 equals 0. So combining like terms again, simplifying, establishing the second equation B. So 0.5 theta B plus 1.5 theta C minus delta over 12 equals 0. Call that equation B. Then for the third equation, we have to apply statics for the horizontal components of reactions, external reactions. So summation forces X must be zero. So AX, so this is the assumed moment BA. Let's assume clockwise moments. So AX plus DX whole system plus 90 equals zero. So let's develop AX if we draw free body diagram of 
column AB, and we sum up moment about B, then we have AX equals MBA. AX times 6 equals MBA. So for this free body diagram, again, imagine, so summation moment B equals 0, so AX times 6 equals MBA. So AX, therefore, is 1 6 of MBA, and MBA is equal to 0.5 theta B minus delta over 12. So simplifying, AX is equal to theta B over 12 minus delta over 72. Likewise, if we draw free body diagram for column CD, then we'll have summation moment about CD, X times 6 equals MCD. Therefore, DX is 1 6 of uh, quantity 0.5 theta C minus delta over 12. So that would be theta C over 12 minus delta over 72. Substitute into this equation. So theta B over 12 minus delta over 72 plus theta C over 12 minus delta over 72 equals negative 90. So simplifying and establishing the third equation, we have theta B over 12 plus theta C over 12 minus delta over 36 equals negative 90 equation C. Then we solve equations A, B, and C simultaneously. We obtain theta B equals 180 over EI, theta C is 180 over EI, and and Delta is 40, 20 over EI. So since delta is positive, that means that the, the assumed direction of delta is correct. We can now compute the moments MBA, 0.5 of 180 minus uh, 40, 20 over 12. So moment BA is equal to negative 270 meter. MBC therefore is positive uh, 270 meter. If MBA is negative, then MBC is positive. Then MCB is equal to 0.5 of theta B plus theta C. So MCB is positive 270 meter. So that means MCD is negative 270 kilonewton meter. Then actual value of AX is 1 theta B over 12 minus 320 over 72. So AX is 45 kilonewtons because this is negative so it should be leftward. dx is 180 over 12 minus 40, 20 over 72. It is also negative, so it means it is leftward. So we then plot this in the next slide. So let's have the results or moments and AX and DX. So we now, we are now ready to sketch the shear and shear force and bending moment diagram. So let's consider this as our top fiber for this column, the left, and of course top, and for this right column, the right face would be the top fiber. So since AX is leftward, and this is the left and the right, and therefore we have to move to the left 45, that's positive. So the moment BC is positive, so it is clockwise. Moment CB is also positive clockwise, so we anticipate that these are the uh, shear, shear in, in BC, just to the right, and this is also the shear in 
just to the left of C. So the reaction at D is upward, vertical reaction at A is downward, which is equal to the shear force by action reaction. So it's Ay times 4 equals uh, 270 plus 270. Considering BC, so we have shear in BC times 4 equals moment BC plus moment CB, which are all 270. So Ay is equal to 135 kilonewtons. The other way of computing Ay is considering the entire system. So Ay times uh, 4 equals 90 times 6. That's the other way. Again, Ay times 4 equals 90 times 6. So that Ay is 135 kilonewtons downward. Summation for SY entire system, then dy is also 135 kilonewton upward. So we are now ready to sketch the, the shear force diagram. First, 45 to the left, then constant, and it should close above. Then here we have negative 135. Then it remains constant, so it closes there because dy is also 135. And finally, because this is the right face is the top fiber, so we have to move right 45, then constant, and it closes here because we have dx45. So that's the shear force diagram in kilonewtons. For the moment, diagram. So since this is 0, 0 plus 45 times uh, 6, so you have moment there, straight line 270. So since uh, this is also 270, MVC is positive 270, then it remains constant minus, sorry, 270 minus 135 times 4, so we have negative 270 here. Then negative 270, then plus the area which is 45 times so it should close there. So this is the bending moment diagram in kilonewton meter. Finally, for the elastic curve, so we have positive moment, so it should look like this. Then make positive, then negative then negative. So that's the expected elastic curve. So that's it for this uh, problem. I hope that you were able to follow and understand the explanations.